when we last saw our heroes, Ulm and Drawn, Jim Darkmagic, and Walnut Dawn Grass, they were stranded in Ravnica, and in an attempt to find a way home, wound up at a Rakdos Circus of Blood. Jim, you are standing on a stage in the center of this Rakdos Circus. Now, I assume I've had a long rest. <laughs> the crowd is wild, and you now hear them yelling, Blood! 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 Let's mess up. Oh and my god, I actually felt real fear. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> the party found an imperiled druid boy, Elm, Rakdos' sacrifice du jour, as well as Goliath newcomer, Bobby Zemaruski's best friend. I Those blades are coming directly at your buddy, Elm. My best friend! It's your boy? Oh, that's my boy. Oh, shh, okay. He's got some problems, but I'm trying to take care of him. It's like the Big Brother program. Yeah, but for trees. Yeah, for, 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 for young trees. trees. Yeah. It's, the, it's the big sapling program. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I'm going to move close enough to Elm to protect him with my body. Then I'm going to rage. All right. Uh, Jim is going to, he's going to reach into his robes, and he's going to pull out a, a length of rope. Yeah. He's gonna get the fuck out of here. As Walnut detonates a gimp giant, Omen notices a crystal where Evil and Marthane once stood. Golden lightning arcs from this sapphire into your forehead, and for a split second, you think of Morgane, who then is launched out of the portal and falls down on the ground. <coughs> I rub the middle of my forehead and I say, You're late. <laughs> this is this a blood circus? I love a blood circus. <laughs> And blood they shall have as Bobby delivers a tent full of nourishing clown's blood. You want your blood? Go have your blood! <laughs> the big top comes crashing down around the screaming throngs, and the party hightails it back to the airship, where Loxodon Edu awaits. Quick! We need to get out of here before the Ozoria Senate comes and bogs us down in ten hours of paperwork! You... Subject, subject yourself, yourself to the glorious questioning, questioning forthwith. Nah. That sounds <laughs> super boring. Nah. Nah. Yeah. I got shit to do. Yeah. 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 The party drops Elm off with plane traveler Vi to begin repairs on the portal device. But the last element, Omniglass, must be retrieved from Ravnica's undercity. There's also the matter of how to keep Bobby on retainer. Tell me what you value most, and I will find you a portion of it. <laughs> well... I know alchemists, I know glassmakers, uh, I know silversmiths. I'm gonna need you to find a dairy man. Because I'm gonna need 3,000 pounds of cheese. <laughs> People use gold for currency, that's easy. You find it in a mine, you chip it off, you put some in your bag, you go about your day. It's hard to make cheese. Look, as long as that's what you've heard. Um... <laughs> After protecting the portal device from an Orzhov spy named Sostya. All people in Ravnica owe us taxes. Uh, okay. That's part of what we get right. in the Orzhov. This lady wants you to pay taxes. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> she shoots the woman. <laughs> there, there. <laughs> I gotta catch them all. <laughs> the team ventures down into the undercity. Sprite Sprocket knows a shortcut there. Touching it with my hands, trying to see if there's any cracks or crevices, something that's coming. There, there is an opening behind this wall of wet moss. As you all stand there glistening with this, this viscous goop, you suddenly realize it's moving on you. Ah! Yeah, oh. ah! No! Oh, oh, oh. And Sprocket, it's also on him. He looks at you all and says, Oh, I fucked up. And he starts flying really fast. <laughs> oh. The whole thing is we the came worm. in the butt. We came in through the butt. <laughs> <laughs> we all need to take a moment and just accept what happened. <laughs> and Manage maybe it. we never speak of it again. And if it does if it does come up, let's say that we went in the front. <laughs> Instead. And came out another front. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Who may know? Who After may... exploring the worm's ass, our heroes arrive at the ruins of a fortress bearing the Boros insignia. Beneath the magical damp rot is enough omniglass, but another worm attacks for the sake of ass vengeance. Back through the butt. Back, Back through, through the, the butt. butt. Yeah. Back through the butt. Yeah. All right. <laughs> So. The giant worm's elementary canal pulses with violent force, recoiling at the heresy of these gastric invaders. All 
all make their deck saves, except for Omen. Oh. Not only takes seven acid damage, Omen is launched out the other end. <laughs> like a railgun? Yes. <laughs> but Omen gets noticed on the long way down. You all notice that that vessel with the spider symbols all over it suddenly changes course and comes right toward Omen. <laughs> Now, it's time to go into a worm's butt once more. Only wall-to-wall -wall worm's butts from here on out. No other D&D show can make that promise. I don't care how much they made on Kickstarter. Welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated. Welcome to Acquisitions Incorporated. I am your DM this evening, Jeremy Crawford. <laughs> Joining me on our evening's adventure in Ravnica are several very brave adventurers, especially after what happened in the last session. <laughs> Number one, we have Jerry Holkins as Omen Drawn. Returning to us, we have Patrick Rothfuss as Viari. <laughs> we learned last time that you can't have blood without also having cheese, and so we have coming back WWE superstar Xavier Woods. Also joining us for another round of Ragnica adventure <laughs> is Morgan Webb as Morgane. <laughs> and finally, our favorite wielder of dark magic, Mike Krahulik as Jim Dark Magic. Are your dice warmed up? Oh, yeah. Are you all ready? <laughs> Are you ready for some blood? <laughs> Music to a DM's ears. <laughs> Omen. Yeah? You are falling <laughs> down Deadbridge Chasm, hundreds of feet below you, but again, you are in the gentle embrace of your friend Jim's magic as you go down slowly, just slowly enough for that airship to extend out a net <laughs> and scoop you right out of the air. What do the three of you up on the walkway do as you see this? Um, You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast... Uh, conjure animals, and I'm going to cast two giant eagles. Uh, Hardcore. Wow. I'm going to get on one, and we're coming for you. <laughs> Very nice. This is pretty sweet, I have to say. How Good much, investment. How much weight can these eagles hold? About this much. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll, probably, I'll probably just jump. <laughs> <laughs> each, each eagle could carry one of you. Okay, I'm just worried about getting him back up. Otherwise, I would love to take a friend. Hovering next to you, Sprocket the fairy says, oh, Should I go get help? Uh, do we know what constitutes help around yeah. here? He's the one who took us through the butt. <laughs> yeah, he's not a pro. No. Uh, Sprocket, I don't, do I recognize the symbol on the airship that is 
eating him up like... That's bad. That's the Golgari swarm. They have the worms and, and worse things. Worse than the worms. <laughs> how, how many uh, people does this airship look like it can hold? Can we take the airship is what I'm asking you. It looks like it could hold a lot of people. Okay, never mind. Mm. So this, this is people? a smash and grab is what you're saying. Okay, all right. Do we see people on the deck like... So there's a large balloon on the top. You can see underneath glimmering windows. And inside, it's either the glass is green or what's burning inside is green flame. And you can see the shadows of many figures walking along the balconies inside these viewing decks. So as we see the net reach out, has it grabbed him and enveloped him yet? Or is it just he's just he has in the been net? swallowed already? Oh, oh he's okay, inside. never mind. Is it like a butterfly net? Yeah. Because yeah. gossamer. It's just Soft. I kind of imagine it whiffing once or twice. <laughs> oh, trying oh, to no, catch no, no. me? Yeah. It, he just basically gently lands ah. like in a, in a bed. And Omen, you... I instantly fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> like, opportunities like this are rare. <laughs> As you are sucked in, you are in a small dark chamber. There are at least six insectoid figures looking down at you, and one of them says, The mistress will want this one. And there is a slurping noise as you are basically sucked down an esophagus oh. right underneath you. Oh my god. When you, I want to make sure I can, I can imagine the horror properly. When you say insectoid, <laughs> what type of bug? These like mantis lady yes. bug? Ladybugs these, are great. No, these look, <laughs> these look like upright praying mantises. Oh, oh that's the bad kind. Oh, okay. Like some thrycreen type shit? Not quite. Really? They have a green sheen mm -hmm. uh, to the shells on the outside, and so it, they almost look like distant cousins of thrycreen. Ugh. Okay. You know, I leave you alone for one session. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and now I got nothing but problems. Yep. All right, so I guess I just hold my breath for the duration of this transit. <laughs> and the transit smells disturbingly like the worm. Oh, yeah. This is what my life is now. Worm tech. <laughs> yeah. So we could use the eagles as shuttle service, two at a time. It's the best we're going to do. Smart. Yeah. I'm going to let this eagle thing go, see how that works. I did my part. I'm not jumping over this cliff. I'm going to ask, if I jump, can you hit me with the feather spell as I well? I just used that. Um, is that not how it works? No. <laughs> I'm going to save that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I'm focused on the fact that my cheese man is now gone. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yeah, you're, if, you're, you're connect. If he's gone, no cheese for me. Your cheese daddy. My cheese daddy, yes. <laughs> She, so I, I take a look, I see that he got enveloped, and I just jump off. She's <laughs> daddy! <laughs> and I'm hoping that this net comes out. Oh, this is somebody I can play with. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I have the Omni Glass, right? Yes. And it's, I, what, how is it, what shape is it? It's like an orb. Yeah, it's about this big. And it's very important, so I should keep it safe. Please. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> Please do so. All right, how far can you jump, Bobby? How far can I jump? Let's see. I would say an infinite amount, so long as I would, it's down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> the, the pit is bottomless. The, impor so. the important question is how far out? Um, Horizontal? Uh, what am I going to look at for that? So you're gonna look at your strength score for yep. me. Strength? I've got 20. All right. I, mean, I got thick legs. <laughs> Some would say dummy thick. Those trunks. <laughs> okay. All right. So, you, with a running start, leap out. Are you going to try to jump out as far as you can go? Uh, I'm going to gauge it so I'm trying to land on the top of this blimp-esque thing. All right. Go ahead and give me... <laughs> oh, I thought he said that. <laughs> no, That's never a good tone. <laughs> go ahead and give me a strength athletics check. All right. You, you may or may not recall, at the, at the end of last time, you raged. Oh, yeah, so I'm ready. You are ready, and so that means you have advantage on this roll. Dope. Because it's a strength check. Okay, here we go. Okay, 15, and then what'd you say, uh, strength? Athletics plus Athletics nine. Uh, plus nine. So there's, that's math, Jeez. that's 24. Oh, yeah. now roll plus. 
advantage. advantage. Right? So Adrian roll it might again. get even higher. Again, I'm bad at this. You guys have to help me, okay? <laughs> well, they will. Oh. They will. I wrestle. I get hit in the head a lot. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> No, I, don't, I would take the first one. Yeah. Eight, okay, we'll take the first one. We'll do the yeah. first one. Okay, so 20, not 24. 24. 24, thank you. Using force of your own, not requiring a worm's butt to propel you, mm -hmm. <laughs> you launch out almost as far as Omen did, but that net, it's retracting. Uh -huh. <laughs> so I grab it, right? <laughs> 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 They're not fast enough. Oh. I just made a check for them. You see the net starting to come out, and you sail right by it. All right, I will send an eagle. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I got you. All right, as you fall below, this isn't just a chasm. This isn't just a view in cross-section of many cities built on top of each other. You see down at the very bottom, hundreds and hundreds of feet below, some kind of moving Ugh. surface. You think at first, maybe this is the underwater sea that was mentioned to you. But as you fall, sense. it looks like it is a sea of worms. Are these the same size of the, the butt that we were in? Unclear given how high up you are. Gotcha. But the closer you soon. get, you'll be able to tell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. So, what a treat. Yeah. Find out for us. It's a good news, bad news situation. <laughs> sacrifice for my cheese daddy. <laughs> You're sending an eagle. I am sending an eagle. All right. The eagle, what is the speed of it? That's a great question. I'm going to have to look that up on my phone. Jim. <laughs> yeah. I see it. I see it. <laughs> um, this, this is really bad. Is it? OK. I, I'm, I'm going to go talk to Edu. He, he's, up, he's up with the mechanical horses. He, maybe has a, he might have an idea. You go talk to him. I'm going to keep an eye on this situation as it unfolds. <laughs> Question. How far past this f flight vessel am I? You are now 30 feet past it and by every second. Okay. Going f as fast as I can, can I tie a rope to one of the arrows that I've got and shoot it Ooh. at the net? Ooh. Yes. Damn. <clears throat> and the speed is 80 feet. Yeah, 80 feet. All right. Okay. Uh, so what, what, what did I check for that? I, I want you to shoot this eagle out of the air so yeah. bad. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like, try it up. Uh, and then the eagle. Oh. At 80 feet. Smoke coming out of the yeah. back. I don't know why. If you say these things, the dice can hear you. <laughs> I will roll the one. Make, make a ranged attack roll. Ranged attack. This is going to use your dexterity. Okay, dexterity. 17 Ooh. plus 12 is a lot. <laughs> 29. Roll damage for this shot. Oh. All right. See, this is what happens when you play with the rules designer. <laughs> yeah. Shoot down the Zeppelin. <laughs> Shoot down the Zeppelin. <laughs> <laughs> Burst into flames. I'm not in the game yet. Oh, I dope. Spoiler. I just rolled an eight on my D8. <laughs> plus one, that's nine. And I'm raged, so yeah. that's cool. You're crazy. All right. Since Fiari isn't with us yet, oh. I'd like you to roll a D6 for me. Four or higher, he hit one of the supports of the net. Three or below, he hits the net. Nothing but net. <laughs> that's, which is good, right? Exclusively net. Five. All right, your arrow twangs into one of the wood arms out, and you suddenly, boom, are halted in midair. Perfect. Nice. I'm going to award you inspiration for that maneuver. Yeah. Nice. I will also award myself inspiration for that maneuver. <laughs> now, 
I will say, if he was off to one side, <laughs> I, I'm, I don't really have skin in this game because I'm not here. <laughs> But it seems like he was falling and gaining velocity, and he shot it, and he's holding onto this rope. I know a little bit about how one swings. <laughs> um, but it could be that if, if there was an arc involved, he might, one might, be able to sort of use up that velocity, sort of eat it up, and then end up on the, the deck net. of the ship. See, at first I was upset, now I like this. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Acquisitions and Crockett. <laughs> Omen. Yes, how can I help? You are disgorged <laughs> on a metal floor, and you see above you that this esophagus-like growth retracts up into the ceiling of this vast chamber, diamond-shaped, in front of you, on a raised dais, is an ogre-sized Medusa. She is reclining, wearing a black gown. On either side of her, there is a brazier burning, filled with green flame. Below the dais, peering at you with glimmering eyes, are two human-sized centipedes. But they each have little human-like hands. Oh. Gross. That's not okay. Oh. Ew. Fucking gross. <laughs> Yuck. What put at me? <laughs> you also see, up above, there is a balcony filled with party-goers, with cocktails. There is a band playing. The band is led by a loxodon playing a keyboard. Dude, this is some Jabba the Hutt type shit. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and wrapped up at the base of her gown with a collar around his neck. <laughs> Looking, looking listless and clad in a mankini. <laughs> it's VR. Also, this chamber, in addition to being this Medusa's audience chamber, is also a gallery. In front, of each of the large windows that gaze out upon the chasm, there is a statue. And each statue oh, no. is of a person meeting their end, oh, usually with some kind of blade in them. <clears throat> really? There is also, behind you, a group of three people in seated positions with a tarp pulled up around oh, their no, midriff. Oh, no, Splash Rose? It says <laughs> Splash Zone on their tarp. <laughs> and there is a giant saw blade in all three of them, but each of them now is stone with a look of terror on their face. Um. And she looks at you and says, Welcome. Aren't you violet? Yeah. <laughs> I say, this is, uh, this, where I'm from, this is very cool. <clears throat> and I, I wipe some of this extraneous mobile fluid out of my eyes, and I say, uh, are you Vraska? I read about you on Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> you flatter me, but I am not. Oh, okay. Vraska the Great. Can she come out? I, like, I prefer to deal with management. <laughs> down, down, like, kind of up against her leg. Viari is like... <laughs> <laughs> Waving back and forth on her head are the snake-like tendrils. You notice something odd. Oh. That unlike the Medusa in the Forgotten Realms, there are not snake heads on the tips. No? It is like snaky vines on her head. What, plants? But 
No, not plants. Oh. It's almost like a snake body, but with no snake head. But they are writhing. Oh, that sounds like something else. I don't know if it's better. You know what I mean? Like, out of these two. Are you, you poor, unfortunate soul. <laughs> <laughs> On this vessel, I am the queen. Is that not right? She looks up at the balcony and everyone says, yes. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> that is right, my darling. Oh, and man. isn't that right, sweet cheeks? <laughs> she, she does pet me. She pets That's me. everything I ever wanted. <laughs> I'm like, to everyone else, you may be a queen, but you will always be my mistress. Oh. Viari? Yeah, okay. Um, okay. The grape knows you. The grape. Uh, I don't, don't fucking encourage it. <laughs> we have a, a, a passing acquaintance, mistress. Pat, you uh, have in your situation, you have involved yourself in my business. Uh, because the creature you've attached to yourself <laughs> uh, is one who is within my power. You will be glad to know that I saved Peaches here from a collapsing Racto Circus. Somebody saved me. <laughs> he might have been killed by the very blade that killed the Splash Zone. <laughs> it was very dangerous. <laughs> What the hell was that? <coughs> she looks out the window and you see a Goliath <laughs> wait by. I am singing Ariel's song. <laughs> Coming feet wow. first for a window <laughs> and I'm ready to break and tear this place apart. She's daddy, I'm coming home! <laughs> <laughs> All right, are you going to swing for the window? Hell yeah, I'm swinging Or are you going to try to swing <laughs> up into the net? I'm swinging for the window. All right. Because I, can, how far can I see? Like, do I see that there's a Medusa-esque lady? You see there is a very large, ogre-sized person with something waving on the top of their head. Okay, I'm going to assume that since she's a Medusa, she is of the Gorgon family, so I can't look at her but I do have a shovel. So once I do bust through this window, I will hold the shovel at the level of my eye. So if she looks in it, she'll turn to stone, not me. <laughs> oh, so, you, so you, classic, you sprung for the good shovel. You know, yeah. yeah. It's never to. been used. Exactly. Brand it's, new, out of the box. We've dug no holes since I've been with you guys, so <laughs> it's clean. All right, as Bobby is swinging, uh, more yes. gain on your eagle. Yeah, I'm coming in too. All right. So can I see which window he's going for? Yes. And I can see inside of it. V vague shapes. Just vague shapes. Does one of them seem vaguely omen-sized? You see that's the smooth scalp. You see that okay. classic silhouette. The, I'm gonna use some like si silhouette. You see something purple. I'm going to use dimensional door, and I am going to appear standing right next to omen. <laughs> Bobby, mm -hmm. go ahead and give me another strength athletics check. Okay. Here we go, here we go. You have advantage. I've got advantage. I've got advantage. Oh. 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 We got this. advantage, baby. Nobody Let's go. Who cares about this? Boom! Oh. And I, since I still am raged and I haven't eaten cheese in days, the cheese cruster on my mouth, <laughs> it's got me in a bad mood. <laughs> uh, Jim, you suddenly manifest next to Omen. Yes. Right as there is an explosion of glass behind you. <laughs> Great. As, 
<laughs> as Bobby bursts in, and you can see Morgan on one of her eagles behind. As, as I bust through the window, actually, I'm landing on the upper level. I would assume there's windows up there. Ah, you're going for the upper level. Yes, that's what I was shooting for. All right. Yes. Then there is screaming as you okay. burst. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Yeah, <clears throat> exactly. <laughs> Someone roll a d4 for me. I got you. This makes me nervous. Three. Three of the partygoers upstairs are hit by you, and they topple over the side. One of them lands with a sickening thud. Ugh. Another one lands on one of the saw blades. <laughs> there is a lot of blood. <laughs> And the other one just sort of lands on their bum and goes, oh! <laughs> <laughs> is, is this the splash zone that I'm in? Are they covered with the tarp? <clears throat> right behind. The one who landed on the blade down below, that's the splash zone. Ah, okay. Perfect, okay. But you are up above with the Loxodon and his band mm -hmm. playing on the keyboard. Oh, I get it. Ah. Uh, how close am I nice. to the keyboard? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got you. Something's happening that I'm not aware of. Oh, no, no. His, his uh, job of the hut metaphor is very robust. Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay. yeah. Okay. Uh, and I'm just like, Viari, I didn't tell me you had a friend. <laughs> um, might I make introductions, mistress? Please. <laughs> but first... No magic. And her eyes glimmer for a moment. Mm -hmm. I'm watching you. And you, she points. I'm not looking at her. I've got the shield. <laughs> Shovel. <laughs> Shovel. <laughs> I refuse to make eye contact. Just, I'm just here to dig a hole. It's a, it's a <laughs> <Yeah>. yeah. <laughs> Came to do work on their internet, please. <laughs> uh, I, I, without, without looking over at Jim, I just know that it's him. <laughs> right. The cologne, maybe. Like, yeah. I just know that he's right there. And I say, thank you, Jim. And I say, it's about to get worse here. A lot worse. Because the rest of my forces are going to be here momentarily. <laughs> just take a, the, the edge of the cliff is fine if you want to drop us off there. That works for me. Oh, mistress, he is terrible in his anger. <laughs> 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 Please make a charisma deception check, but you have assistance from Peaches. Okay. So, so what is the assistance? What does it grant me? You have advantage. Advantage. Okay, cool. Uh, I have exactly what you need. Get ready. All right. First roll, that is a 19. That is a 21. About how many assistants? Oh my God, say? hundred, dude! Say yeah. hundred. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I I feel like uh, a little mystery sort of seasons events, don't you? Um, yes. In that case, bring us down quickly. <laughs> You're not very smart, are you? Well, it's been said. <laughs> And the ship actually starts to drop toward the Sea of Worms. Oh, not, not towards the cliff. Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Further down. Okay. Now, I just might let you go. You have ever been merciful, mistress. <laughs> what color is his mankini? Yeah, help us picture it. I'm trying to get a visual view. And remember, yeah, with the red many, hair. Many, like, I, yeah. Do I have a top two? Yeah, is it like Borat style, where it's just like the strings over the nipples? It's Borat style. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, I will admit, I've never seen Borat. Is this like Fifth Element, like Lelu? It is just... Two pieces of floss. Imagine that. So <laughs> cheeks are fully out. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Uh, leather? Black leather? Yes. Okay. With a silver accent. <laughs> <laughs> to match, to yeah. match her black gown. Oh, of, oh. I am... I am nothing if not willing to accessorize. <laughs> I can't wait 
for the costumed episode. <laughs> nice. Pax West, huh? <laughs> Big value. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> she looks at the two centipedes. Slither. Slide. <laughs> Sniff that one out. And so the two of them skitter toward you slowly, Omen. Mm -hmm. And they have these strange little antenna that go toward you, but they also, mixed in with their bug faces, also have human-like noses. This is, what oh. is this? What? Oh, no. Welcome to the Golgari Swarm. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> like a successfully uh. done human centipede. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It's like oh, all of it in one mm. creature. Mm. They then both turn toward her, and they say in unison, he has some kind of juice, mistress. What? I scream down and say, are you good or you want me to, you know? <laughs> Bobby, I have no idea. Just, I'm going to get back to you in a second. All right. Approach. Here. I look down at the centipede and I'm like, why'd you tell her about my juice? <laughs> <laughs> it's weird. I, I mean, I, I'll go up. I'm willing, to, I'm willing to play this game up until I banish her. <laughs> Do you approach the dais? Yeah. The two centipedes move aside so that you can approach. Right. As I'm walking up, I say, Jim, I need you to be ready to destroy this entire ship. <laughs> and I'll be outside uh, of the window with my arrow pulled yeah. at her. Is the, is the eagle just, just out? out yeah, the... Eagles can hover, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I yeah. have a way to destroy the entire ship. I know. It not yet. Will be interesting. <laughs> Another great reason to stay outside. <laughs> I'll be right here, guys. Right outside, waiting for you. Jim. Hmm. As Omen walks away, you notice now looking where he was standing, which was dead center in this chamber. The whole middle part of this floor is an iris, and you're standing right on it. Like an eye? It's like a flower. It's beautiful. Like an, <laughs> iris, like an iris door. Okay. This is all Jabba. It's yeah. all the hut. Um, okay. And it, it, uh, it takes up, like, can I see an edge to it, like behind me? If I were to take a step back, would I be off of it? So it has a 10-foot diameter. Oh, and he was in the very center of it? Yes. And he's walking toward... The Medusa. The Medusa. But no longer on this iris. You just stepped off of it. Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'll take a couple big steps back. <laughs> <laughs> as One, two, and... As you step, take two steps back, the centipedes take the same number of steps toward you, but then they stop. Uh, okay, I raise one hand. <laughs> <laughs> they raise all four of their little hands. Oh. Just dancing. <laughs> <laughs> Am I off the... You're off the Okay. Eyes. Omen. Yeah. She leans forward. She sniffs. The tendrils on her head sort of wave toward you. Uh, that, my dear, it's not just a violet effect. No, it's, it's a very expensive treatment that I received in Waterdeep. <laughs> Pluck it. We, we need to see some of the juice. Huh? I, 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 I don't show him your juice. <laughs> I'm up top and I just say, ma'am? <laughs> <laughs> She, she pulls from out of her gown a needle. You do it, Peaches. You're Erla's little pet. Viari, don't, get in, don't take any of his juice. No. What is wrong with Leave you? Leave him his juice. I just want to taste it. She just wants to taste it. <laughs> I say, it Viari, can you... I have a lot of questions, just in general, <laughs> like about who you are as a person. But, uh, but for the moment, let's constrain our interrogation specifically. I want you to look at the whole situation. I want to look at your part in it and your enthusiasm to be a part of it. 
Also, I feel like if she wants to taste his juice, she should work for it, you know? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I don't think it's that unreasonable of a request. Well, listen, I, <laughs> hey, you know, what, what I'm... I'm just saying this was a really nice party before you showed up. <laughs> and, and you kind of showed up, and I, you weren't invited, well, well, the, well, and she's the host. Horseshit, I grab his wrist and take it. Take and the I'll needle? do it myself. All right. And so, as you puncture your skin, some blood comes out, and you see your blood is now purple. Oh, you do have yeah. juice. Mm. <laughs> Just as I thought. May I? Well, what's going to happen? Are you going to go into your final form if you drink this? <laughs> <clears throat> like, are you going to get, like, a one big weird wing? Like... <laughs> I don't want any of that. So I'll, I'll, I'll put my hand on the shirt. I'm like, listen, this is a slightly odd scene. <laughs> but like, I mean, she, she knows a lot. She's really... I don't want to talk to you anymore. <clears throat> I'm gonna, I'll, I'll, hand her, I'll hand her the juice. Oh, and, uh, uh, one only approaches the mistress at her request. Okay. Uh, like I said, we're done. And so <laughs> uh, I just like hold my hand and, and in, kinda, in space kinda, so that I never yeah, have to see his face. I just look at it. If he moves his face, I move the hand, and then I never have to look at it. You want and my so, shovel? Uh, soon. But not for the reason you're using it. <laughs> Right. I, I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call up and I'm going to say, we're going to need that to dig about 200 holes here in a second, Bobby. Uh, yeah. I, say, I say, I'm going to trade you this for this. Oh. May I taste and then decide? And I, yeah, I, 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 I think I, I have a lot of it. I say very quietly, she knows a ton of shit. She knows a lot. All right. But also, why buy the cow if you get the milk for <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> All right. Uh, I'll hand it over, like, Boy Scout style, like, blade away. Okay. But also... Such a gentleman. <laughs> j just to make it clear, during this tussle, I would like to have uh, acquired the set of lockpicks that I have secreted in Omen's armor. <laughs> Wow. It's nothing but treachery in this party. <laughs> Give me a dexterity sleight of hand check. And, and succeed at it. Mm. Mm. Come on. Um, I got an inspiration last game. Does it carry over? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's a good thing for um, you. Although, I just want to double check here. Sleight of hand, you say? Would a, a 19 be solid, or you want more than that? <laughs> wow. As far as you can tell, no one sees you slip it out of his armor, and it occurs in utter silence. Right. Well, we're kind of... That's, yeah. that's why I was I'm doing like, the big no, thing. No, so, no, yeah. uh, no, yeah. no. Okay, fine. It's, and, it's not. and easy for it to be missed with the amount of music in There's this There's a lot going on here. And the people upstairs who are continuing to back away from you, Bobby, and you, Morgane, toward an exit... On the, yes. on the upper level. I'm growling a lot. <laughs> None of them seem armed, other than with cocktails. That's going to make this very easy. And actually, the, the, one, who, the one who landed on his ass, uh, and I'm assuming he's just sitting there. Yes. On the way back to, I'm sorry, her name again? Erla. Erla. Um, I just want to take his cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> and so I, I just take it, and then I go and I sit back by her. As you take it, he just goes... <laughs> I think my tailbone is broken. It... <laughs> I just I pat him on the cheek. I'm like, <laughs> welcome to the party, you know? <laughs> and I go and I, I sit. <clears throat> Erla tastes it. She closes her glimmering eyes for a moment. Astounding. Wow. There's more where that came from, lady. 
Whatever you had pumped into you is not of this world. I will gladly trade you peaches for all of it. Now, all of it? I have a question about that. Um, <clears throat> when you say all of it, I mean, I need some. I think I need most of it. But I don't actually know. Yeah, is it your blood? I don't know. No, 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 not to worry. <laughs> I have a member of the Simic Combine on board. He oh, can that's purify great. your blood and juice you in the process. <laughs> Bring in Dr. Crumb. Hmm. As he comes in, I say, is that with a K, crumb, like a K? Okay, thank you. I take a quick note. Very important information. Yeah. An elf walks in with a monocle. Oh, no. <laughs> it's this dream. Two, two, <laughs> two more uh, elves come in behind him, wheeling what looks like an Iron Maiden. What the god? All right. Don't do that. No. Don't do that. Want me to shoot him, boss? Soon. Okay. Yeah. Juicing is supposed to feel good. Yeah. <laughs> it's supposed to be, and it's supposed to be collaborative. Yeah, exactly. At the end of the day. Like, I'm, after we finish this party, I'm trying to get juiced. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Mistress Erna, you called for the juicer. <laughs> I said, do you do this all the time? <laughs> Actually, I'm curious. Has she been doing this? Is this the party? She just <laughs> juicing people all over? Have I seen this before? Yes. <laughs> oh. You saw it once before. Oh uh, my gosh, okay, so this... How did it, how did it go? Oh. Yeah. The person made it out alive. They had completely white eyes when it was done. Okay. Uh, do that. Um... I mean, it's a fashion statement. Yeah, it's bold. Yeah. It is a bold <clears throat> choice. I can get those contacts. Do you want me to destroy the airship? Uh, yeah, I'm ready to cut somebody. Please do not destroy my airship. I was talking to him. <laughs> <laughs> do I you want me to destroy it? Once there will be no destruction. Lady, <laughs> this is rude. <laughs> Here. <clears throat> Mistress. I'm, I'm, yeah, go ahead, please. Um... If, if I am to be part of this exchange, I would prefer him to be more or less intact at the end of it. He's cruel and fickle and mercurial and... Well, actually... <laughs> <laughs> While he's doing this, I am getting eyes on the juicing apparatus. Dr. Crumb has pushed a button and it has opened up with a and some steam <laughs> comes out of it. It has interior illumination, this white oh, light yes. comes out, and rather than being filled with spikes, it is filled with countless, what looks like the kind of narrow needles that would be in a hypodermic needle. Hmm. Do not get in that, man. Don't do that. Please don't do that. When I saw this happen before, like, w w did, was this a purple person, or did she just juice a normal dude? A normal <laughs> dude. Okay. And why? Did she be like, oh, and this increases my power, and then I will, you know, my reach 9,000? <laughs> <laughs> or was it like, it's t Tuesday? <laughs> <laughs> For me, it was a Tuesday. <laughs> she said only three words before taking a sip. Oh. My skin treatment. <laughs> okay. I don't know, man. I don't know. But you have to think, I feel like the purple in my campaign uh, for the hand of Evelyn Marthane, I feel like the purple is getting in my way. Yeah, I feel like there's other ways we could probably get rid of the purple. <laughs> <laughs> this seems fast. If you want to get juiced, that's fine. I'm just making a case for not getting in. Mistress, the <clears throat> mistress, his what? Perhaps I can short circuit this process. He is a cunning negotiator, and his hesitation is probably an attempt to see what else he could get from you. In an attempt to get you what you want, what else could you offer him? I say, yeah. I know your time is precious. <laughs> and I would, hate, I say, I say, I would yeah. hate for him to continue to waste it as he is currently doing. Yeah, and I'm looking very closely at 
some of the needles. They look perfectly sterile. Oh, good. <laughs> they look sterile. I say, I say very, very quickly, uh, Erla. Can I call you Erla? Listen. Mistress. Oh, Mistress Erla is fine. Um, so, what exactly, what is the juice? Just, just top line it for me. You have some otherworldly substance in you. I've been told this. It's all the pineapple he eats. I'm really trying here, guys. I'm trying to hold back a lot. Yeah. Where, where exactly did this happen? I'm not going to say anything like that. Um, I say it's from uh, a strange, a mysterious uh, land, not Toral, a different planet, a different one, not, this, not that one. No, I'm not from there. I so, said, you know what? And then I just get in the machine. <laughs> <laughs> I <Okay>. scream. <laughs> if he comes out different, everyone is dead. <laughs> no, no. no, no. I, I, I say, I, I, I look over at Dr. Crumb and I say, fuck me up, fam. <laughs> Kusunk. Thousands of needles. Uh, okay, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'm not good with needles, it turns out. I, 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 <laughs> I should have known. <laughs> Puncture your skin. No, 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 hold on. I don't know if I would let this happen. If I actually saw him going towards it. It's so fast. He just jumped. Is, is it a done deal at this point? Yeah, or can I? Yes. I think okay. he climbed in. When There's I see no the door close, the guy with the broken tailbone, I grab him by the throat and I'm just ready to. He's get the down. First he's on the lower level. Oh, you're on the. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's fell. all the way down. This person to me is now getting throated. <laughs> I've got him. I only came here to drink. <laughs> I, uh, What's your lucky day? Because I'm going to be about to drink myself. <laughs> I want to point both wands at Earl. Erla. No, just, Earl. Have it be Earl. 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 I point both wands at Earl. <laughs> if you behave yourself, not only will your friend emerge intact, but I won't feed you to the worm. Yeah, well, if you behave yourself, I'll sign an autograph on my way out of here. <laughs> It's got to be one of the best wizards. <laughs> Peaches. Yes, mistress. Are all of your friends this odious? I took a shower today. Yeah. I definitely did not. <laughs> she might stink. Yeah. I for sure do. Oh, my. Yes. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> You're just coming to some realization. And, but, but understand that he's like melting, but like in these straps, he's just folding up. <laughs> and, and is he screaming in the background? Is, or is it just pure silence it coming is, from the... It is eerie silence. No more music. No, from inside. Yeah, from inside the thing. Still music. Still. I like that this guy's still and, going. And <laughs> Dr. Crumb is standing outside just going, here comes the juice, here comes the juice. I still have my arrow trained at his head. <laughs> also, I'm drinking beer. <laughs> as the needles puncture into your skin, they only go as far as acupuncture needles would. Hmm. Oh, okay, so it's... it's... And, but there is a numbing sensation in every spot where they go in, and then suddenly all of your blood starts to pump out through the needles and the white light around you turns the same purple as your blood. For a moment, you feel yourself going faint from the blood loss. I need you to make a constitution saving throw to hold on to your consciousness. You bet. 11. Is that good? Oh. 
Do I have it? No, he's just saying you're his inspiration. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but if someone else has no, it. He doesn't? I got it. Inspiration, go. Because if you, if you drop, everybody's dead in here. That's true. Yeah. It's probably for the best. Place is going to go you crazy. We haven't played uh, together very many times, Bobby. Uh, you don't know what I can do with these. <laughs> All right. Now, how about 14? Is that higher? What is this cool? I love, I love a DM who sticks to his rolls. <laughs> you go into a quiet, purpley sleep. Finally. <laughs> but this thing is closed, right? We, it we is don't closed. have any idea. Okay. But you see on the outside, there is a vat attached to one side that is filling up with this purplish liquid, and on the other side, there is plasma that is then feeding back in. Okay. What, what color is this plasma? Red. Okay. Is all plasma red? Is that a dumb question? No, okay. that's fair. Okay, thank you. It's fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah, as it's, it depends. It's okay. been separated. I'm, I'm it's interviewed, Jimmy. I was thinking it might be ball lightning, which I was kind of rooting for you, yeah. you know? <laughs> like high energy plasma. That's a value add. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the juicing is almost complete. <laughs> cool. <laughs> <laughs> Would no. you like to be juiced? <laughs> no. Yeah, yes, but, but not I'd like, like this. I'd like a taste. <gasps> <gasps> Can we some. have like a little bit? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> just like a little bit. I mean, just, I don't even know. I know, right? I just, we, just a sip. Yeah. Right? It'd be weird if I knew, but I don't know. It sounds amazing. He's in there. He'll have no idea. By the way, I do love what you've done with this place. Yeah. <laughs> Out of my dream Real spot. Nice. It's super nice. Especially what you've done with his outfit. Oh. <laughs> Morgane, are you telling the truth? That I really like the decor? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> then please give me a charisma persuasion check. I have, like, none of that stuff, but I'm going to give it a shot. Well, I'm going to go ahead and add nothing to that, so um, that's an eight. Yeah, be sure to add your nothing. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to do the math. It's eight. <laughs> After you say all that, at the, only at the end does she even look toward you, Aww. and she says, what? I can't hear you over the music. <laughs> oh, wow. I love what you've done with the place. <laughs> Can I have some juice? <laughs> have wrinkles. Uh. <laughs> why does she want the sluice? <laughs> I don't know why any of them do anything, mistress. <laughs> My life is a nightmare of confusion. <laughs> I like it here. <laughs> She's asking if she can have some of that purple stuff. <laughs> Maybe. Oh, sweet. I Dr. Crumb, is it done? <gasps> oh, yes. <laughs> Is she really like intent? Is she like, like me in front of the microwave and the burrito's about to be done? Yeah, that, that hot pocket crucible, yeah, slowly like, rotating. <laughs> um, and as she's been talking to me, like if I'm going to speak privately with her, she's kind of so I've probably had to stand up and get like kind of close to her. Okay, I'm just checking. <laughs> no reason. Also, I will pick her pocket. <laughs> well, if her focus is elsewhere. If her focus is elsewhere. This is, this is what, yeah, this is the moment. Uh, Trying to make a distraction, but apparently. Give, give me that dexterity sleight of hand check. Mm -hmm. You've been she building so intently as the, at the juicer. Yep. Here we go. Mm. That's a 23? Jeez. <laughs> Plus 13? Insane. <laughs> I have a particular set of skills. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You pull a dagger of yours out from her gown. Uh, okay. Um, Where yeah, would I you just... like to put it? In... <laughs> In her... I'm, right, I'm right next to her. This fucking guy. Yeah. I'm right next to her. And so I'm assuming, like, when she was talking, and I kind of leaned in to sort of say it privately. So I'm still just there. And I'm like, oh, hey, this, yeah, I recognize this. And I'm just staying close to her, like watching with her. So I'm just there. Um, yeah. 
Is her, when, so when she's leaning forward looking at this, is her neck exposed? Yes. <laughs> the juicer opens. And Omen, <laughs> you fall out with a thud onto the ground. And the rest of you see he is unconscious or dead. See, this is just like Han Solo falling out of the carbonite. It's maintained completely. <laughs> he has hypernutrition sickness. <laughs> um, I can't tell if he's alive or dead. He just falls out. Uh-oh. Can you call Holman, are you alive or dead? <laughs> Cheese man. He coughs. Oh. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's I spin fine. the wands, put him back. I spin and way worse. he is his regular color. <gasps> This is going to work for me. This is going to work for me. Now I need you to make another constitution saving throw. It's Jack, Jack Dice. Jack Dice. Jack Dice. <laughs> Jack Dice. You all saw it. Jack Dice. Ah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 21. You have a jolt as... Every single one of the hundreds of places where you were punctured sizzles. Oh, oh it's like a cauterization type thing? Oh. Yes. And Dr. Crumb goes, oh, 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 that shouldn't hurt too much. How much pain on a scale of one to ten? <laughs> uh, I'm, I, just, I just start crawling toward him. <laughs> Oh, you'd like to thank me for my work. No, no, it's not quite not, not necessary at all. I start to climb up his robes. <laughs> oh, oh, I don't normally hug, <laughs> but yes, it, it was a mar marvelous procedure, wasn't it? <laughs> Choke him to death. Uh, no, no, he, right, he, is, he, is, he has become my crutch, and I will utilize him until I no longer need it. What color are his eyes? Hmm? What color are his eyes? From where you are, you're quite a distance away. Go ahead and give me a wisdom perception. Check. Yeah, what do your elf eyes see? Mm. Yeah. Uh, that would be 11. His eyes, it's hard for you to make out at this distance across this large chamber, but they seem darker than they were before. Oh, fuck, that's what we need. Oh. And Jim, Jim and Viari down on the floor, you, as you look at him, you see that his eyes now are completely black. Okay. Oh. Now, I, I've, I've been here for a while. Arcana isn't my jam. Can I make an educated guess here? Like, how bad is this? What, the, what I'm wondering is... What the actual fuck? <laughs> Go ahead and that. give me... Rolling for what the actual... Yes. <laughs> give me a what the roll. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, you can uh, use your intelligence modifier mm. on top of that. Um, yeah. Uh, so that's a 13. That's just a 13. Although... I think it's a 13. I've been here, like, have I heard? Is this like, is, is she just being weird? Like, like, is this like the podling's vital essence and the Skexis thing? Or is, or is like, did this person leave? Were they, were they weird? Did they like throw him off the ship? Or did he continue like soireeing around? The one that they did this to before, could he talk in ship? He, he staggered out blubbering and was escorted out of the chamber. And you haven't seen him since. But can, can Omen see normally when he looks out? Yeah, I, I was able to crawl toward Dr. Crumb and climb up him. Yes. Like Omen, you are not aware that anything is odd about you. Oh, yeah, absolutely not. Other than the stinging you just felt over oh, your it, entire it, body. But it was momentary, and, you know, to his credit, I mean, now it's fine. Now can, nothing bad has happened. Can I make uh, a what-the-fuck check? <laughs> Yeah, Go ahead and give me an intelligence arcana check. Yeah, you might be okay. very good at this. Yeah, maybe. Uh, 15. That's a good threshold. You think 
that you've seen strange things happen to people's eyes when they've been mind controlled mm. or cursed mm -hmm. or... What's the list of good things that happen? Yeah. <laughs> You have seen some people's <laughs> eyes fill with light when feeling a divine epiphany, but there is no light in his eyes. They're just all dark eyes. He sees okay. All right. Uh, I'm not going to say anything to him right away. I appreciate that. Yeah. The I'm ship has stopped descending. And given how much darker it is outside, it's clear you are much deeper into the chasm. Erla looks outside and says, Oh my, the worms are hungry. What do they like to eat? Yeah. <laughs> That's a great question. Do they like cheese? Because that will be a fight, I'm telling you. Right now. <laughs> then, then you're losing some worms. <clears throat> I, I say, I say uh, Mistress Erla, that, that sounds an awful lot like a threat. I've simply noticed that your, she looks out the window, reinforcements haven't shown up. You're bad at math, bitch. <laughs> oh my God! When you say that to her, her eyes start to glimmer. <laughs> right in the neck. Thank you. <laughs> roll, roll initiative. <laughs> Omen. Yes. How can I help? What's your initiative? Eleven. Eleven. Jim. Nine. <laughs> are, you, are you getting into the headspace? Viari. Since I... Oh, no, no. You just... No. That's <laughs> I'm just the saying, number. I'm just saying I initiated. Do I get a surprise action? Ooh. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I've been selling this for days. You will... <laughs> you'll find that out uh, once combat starts. What's your initiative? Oh, uh, nine. Nine. Uh, Jim and Viari, which of you would like to go first? Oh, I'm sorry, you guys... ten. Oh, ten. Viari should go, yeah. There we go. Do I have an advantage on initiative? Does anybody remember that? I think I do. Nobody remembers? Was it? Yeah. What is this, my responsibility or something? <laughs> <laughs> Front row says yes. <laughs> oh, shit. That's way better. 24. 24. And finally, Bobby. 21. Oh, my goodness. I like this. There's a lot of people upstairs that are about to get it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, blood, blood, blood. Yeah, indeed, blood. Are we destroying the airship or are we just fighting? You'll get your blood. She's <laughs> <laughs> also. Thank you. So, 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 yeah. My my feeling is that we may have to start on this floor and, and move up. Okay. More game. Yes, I'm gonna shoot her in the face. <laughs> she did not even listen to me. She did not let me try her juice, and that was just rude. So, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot her in the face. Or I'm not. The pain. That hurts so bad. It's cool, I got a second attack. <laughs> that one didn't count. 28 to hit. That is a hit. Yes. Um, and then, so that's um, six, six damage. Six? Yeah. All the number right. of the beast. But with, with like a lot of conviction. A lot of heart. She, she knew what it meant. <laughs> Stings off of her face. Oh, she gives you a withering look. That's all I wanted. Just, I just wanted her to acknowledge my presence. Is that so hard? <laughs> and she, as your arrow actually thuds into her, she just yells out, Why the sluice? <laughs> <laughs> Bobby, what do you do? Uh, You're on the balcony up above. Upper level, pretty close to the musicians, correct? Yes. Uh. <laughs> as soon as your arrow hit Erla, the Loxodon stopped playing his keyboard. Does it go? So, <laughs> so I've got... And he's just... Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, there's still people upstairs with me, right? Most of them have evacuated. Most of them have. How far... So we've got the musician I'm pretty close to... And then how far 
is he and, uh, and, and Erla? There's a 15-foot leap from the balcony down to the floor below. Where to where Erla is? To where Erla is, it's 15 foot, feet straight down. If you dropped right down, you'd then be 10 feet from her. Dope. So what I'm going to do... But you uh, can jump out far. I can jump so far. Like I said, real thick. Um, <laughs> first, I'm going to look to the musician, and I'm going to intimidate him into playing Careless Whisper. <laughs> it's like, oh, oh. Do you even have to roll for that? <laughs> no, I mean... He oh, seems terrified. Oh, that's in every musician's heart. I yeah. Mean. Oh. Pauses for a moment. <laughs> you almost see a light bulb appear above his head, and he starts playing Careless Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> but he's got to get... He's got to get that trunk in there. It's like... It's like... Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, st I'm still raged up, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a bonus action, right? Your rage is gone by now. Rage is gone. Can I re rage? I, you probably have some Let's, more rages. Yeah, to go. I, got, I got hella rage. Let's rage again. We're in Boston. I'm wicked raged up. <laughs> Let's get a coffee. All right. Um, so I'm going, after I yell at him to play Careless Whisper, once I hear the do 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 do, I squat down and then propel myself right to Erla, and I've got my morning star in my hand, <laughs> screaming. And I'm beelining. Right for her forehead. I'm getting some Hammer of the Gods. Yes. Thor Ragnarok shit yes. coming down. Yeah. I'm coming down with a fierceness. I need this saxophone <laughs> blaring. I'm about to put this right between her eyes. Give me your attack roll. Okay, let's go. Okay. We, we, we want the... We, we need it. I know. I'm, I need it too. We need it. Okay. Oh, there we go. wow. There we go. See oh, no. That'll do. With the morning star, that's plus nine. That's, that's a lot. That's enough, right? You hit. Perfect. I hit. Uh, morning star, 1d8. That's more than eight. Here we go. Okay. Three uh, plus five. That is... You got eight so eight, far. You eight. Uh, and I'm raged, so... Plus three. So, 11. 11. There we go. <laughs> I hit real hard. Ah, so... You slam into the mass of tendrils on her head. Uh, they actually instinctively move, almost to create like a helmet. For, for in front of her forehead or on top of her head? On top of her head. I swung at the forehead. And so she bleeds, but some of them also block the okay. blow. Huh. Second attack. Yeah, you got more juice. Yep. Thank you. But Thank you. As, Keep me honest. As you hit midair... I need you to now make a strength athletics check to see if you land on your feet. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, question. When I did hit, did my morning star stick into her forehead? No. Okay. That's a problem. <laughs> Advantage for the Rajé. Advantage? Yeah. Because you raged. Yeah. So angry. <laughs> Perfect. Wow. <laughs> so uh, nine plus five, that's 14. Oh, he doesn't like that. You fall. <laughs> In what position? <laughs> On your face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Am I, and so I'm like, I'm, I hit her and kept going, so I'm at her feet. Like yes. I'm, so I'm just, I, was just, I was just bowing. Yep. I was just showing respect, and yeah. I accidentally came through with it. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, Erla. It's not even like that. You're now prone. You can still do your second attack. Dope. Okay, so now, uh, so you are, at, what? What do you guys want to, me to do? <laughs> shovel. Yes. Because the shovel is in the... Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> so the shovel is in my other hand. Has he, has he stabbed her in the neck yet? No, it's coming. He's, it's coming. So it's going... <laughs> okay. So from under... I, if I sweep the leg, he's going to miss the knife in the neck. So I'm going to come uppercut style with the shovel in my other hand. Right. <laughs> Right, so. swing. What is my... Okay, 
for the uh, for shovel. Sixteen. What do I add for the shovel? Plus a lot. You're still plus it. <laughs> I'm still plus. Yeah. Strength. I'm raged up. That hits, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. What, what, what does that? I'm what attack does that count? Gotta be a solid thirty. No, no, he'll he'll know what the shovel damage. So I'm gonna is. I'm gonna let you treat it as a spear. Perfect. So like like as my javelin. Yeah. Use that. Dope. Okay. So sixteen plus nine. That's a lot. Cool. Yeah. We hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hit. Perfect. So roll, <laughs> roll, roll that dice. Sixteen right. is the number you're looking for. Thank you. Okay. Um, one d six. I like it. Plus your strength. Three plus five is eight plus three, 11. Hey. 11 shovel damage. Yeah. <laughs> the first time on the AI stage. Yes. She jerks her head back just enough that the shovel does not manage to dig too far, but it does break the skin and she gurgles. Ugh. I like that. Oh, you <laughs> motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> what, what color is the blood that seeps from her skin? Pure darkness. She seems nice. Yeah. Yeah. So when, she must when be she, a smoker. Because he's coming with the knife, so when she jerked back, did she jerk back into the knife? Again, slow-mo coming in. Yeah, yeah. Omen, what do you do as Viari is... <laughs> uh, I'm going to try... Just for kicks, just because I think it'll make things quick, I'm going to try uh, to banish her. Mm. Uh, just, that's my hope. She has a saving throw to make, I bet. She does. What is the DC? Uh, the DC is so high. <laughs> uh, and, what's, and which ability is she using? Yeah, exactly. Here, let me go to the spells. Um, so, banishment, uh, she needs to make a charisma save 16. Ah, God, she's going to be really good at that, though. I got 16. <gasps> okay. Roll the 14 plus her 2. Yeah, yeah. Those cleric mind tricks don't work on <laughs> me. <laughs> Viari. Okay. Um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm trying to get it right in her neck. Um, yeah, I know. That's what I have in my hand. Thank you. <laughs> the apocalypse. <laughs> um, so I do have uh, two-weapon fighting. And I have this chain as well. Okay. You know what? I was mad. Yeah. So that's sort of an improvisational thing. How do you feel about that? You know what? You have been such a good sport wearing a mankini <laughs> <laughs> that I'm going to say the chain, given the fact that it's largely decorative, mm. I'm going to say counts as a light weapon. And therefore, you can use it with two weapon fighting. <sighs> Thank you. So what's first? And, and just to be clear, I, I do get my finesse bonus on that too, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's a light weapon, though. You just said. Jeez. Okay, no, I'm not going to push. Oh! oh! Wow. <laughs> yeah. She gets stabbed. Okay. So, so roll all the damage dice twice. Okay. Jeez. And Bobby is next to her, so you can do sneak attack damage. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Oh. We're all close. I was counting oh on that. Oh, my God. Yeah. See? This is team effort. <laughs> That's a lot of dice. Okay. So, so many numbers. 8, 10, 20, 30, uh, 37. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Uh... 37 plus it's 43. Uh, and the other one, the chain hit as well. Uh, just like what? Or would you like for that? D6. Yeah. D6. 
pretty. <laughs> uh, so, I, the, you sure I don't get a finesse bonus for that? <laughs> oh, I'm sure. Okay, so then just two with a strength bonus. You, you are sprayed by her ichor, and she looks at you. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Peaches. At two peaches. <laughs> Jim. Are the centipedes still between me and Earl? Yes. Okay. Then I am going to unleash a five foot wide lightning bolt that is going to arc out of me go right through both of them and hit her. So they all need to make uh, deck saving. Uh, 16 is what you're looking for. I bet these centipedes have got mad dexterity. Yeah, I know, but we'll see. You know it. They're break dancing. <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing? They throw cardboard down and <laughs> spin underneath the lightning bolt. I rolled a six, a oh. six, and a three. Oh, yeah. Holy shit. How many D6s do you throw down? 8D6. I love it. You need, do you even have enough? Oh, I'm going to have to roll this a couple times. You guys help me. 3, 1, 6, 1, 4, 2, 2, 4. I like it getting quieter and quieter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like it's the math. No, no, it's just, it's reaching a certain level. Yeah. So twenty-three points is real good. To all of them, right? Yep. The two centipedes jolt and fall down dead. Her giant form convulses as the lightning courses over her, her eyes start to close. I'm not dead yet, motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I do feel obliged to mention I'm attached to her by a chain. <laughs> I would not have considered that. Oh, I know. Yeah. Uh, you, you feel the kind of z if you put a paper clip into oh. an outlet, okay. but you're, otherwise you're fine. Okay, cool. Well, because remember, the chain is attached to leather straps on each side. <laughs> right. Not a good conductor. Exactly. As we know. Of course. Yeah. Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> what is he connected to? Her eyes, which have glimmered so often in your presence, Mm -hmm. Get very bright. Mm. Bright green. Mm. Give me a constitution saving throw, Viari. Oh, shit. Damn. I'm closest stone, to him. Stone, 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 stone. Is Viari not stone? <laughs> um, that is not going to be good enough. That's an eight. What are they? You have your inspiration. Yeah, I know. Um... <laughs> I'll use it when you know, I'm good. Something to consider. You know, I'm into it. <laughs> I mean, I can, I, can play this, I can play this like a gamer, in which case, of course, I'm going to use this. I'm going like, to like fight this like this. But honestly, me suddenly being in thrall seems like a good time. So what's your total? Oh, it's an eight. It was super bad. <laughs> you instantly turn to stone. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what we were saying. Yeah. No. I, was, I, I mean, the Medusa. <laughs> I was thinking this was going to be like a charm thing. Um, and I thought, yeah, like and, listen, and let's be very clear. You thought it would be hot. But yeah. what actually fucking happened... Alyssa Milano's not here. ...is that you became a decoration in an instant. Yeah. Did you see the other fucking statues? You've been, you've been here. We all knew this. We have not been here well, before. She was keeping other people in thrall before. Well, it's never going to happen to him. I've seen it. I've seen this. <laughs> can I counterspell? It's, it's... Not a spell. Like, not a spell. I can, and it can was I not a spell. throw the shovel? Well, uh, <laughs> uh, it's now, pretty awesome. Now, you know... Mm-hmm. 
deep in your soul. Me Viari or me the player because that you was a Viari. disconnect there. You Viari. Okay. You know as your limbs and your skin and every part of you hardens that you... People are getting hardened, they're getting juiced. Bad, bad audience. Yeah, this is quite a game. <laughs> it, I love this. this it, is, it is this a free is the, action. This is the game Tumblr begged for. <laughs> you, you have this horrific realization that you are still fully alive and aware of yourself. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. But encased within your own skin. Hmm. And your friend Viari now is a statue in a mankini. <laughs> At least he looks good. No. He died as he, he lived. Can, can I... <laughs> Do I look good in my pose, though, at least? Oh, yes. Okay, great. Yeah, I'm fine. Is the mankini also stone? Yes. Okay, good question. <laughs> That's a great question. I was going to use it for something. Yeah. <laughs> I got a party coming up. It's like a whole thing. Everybody has to bring their own thing. and Perfect. it's like. Now, I'll also let you know. Okay. You would have not been turned directly to stone if you hadn't failed so badly. <laughs> That's good to know. <laughs> I mean, that, is the, that is the whole point of the saving throw, I was assuming. Morgane, what do you do? Uh, I'm going to shoot her in the face. It's kind of my specialty. It's a great I mean, plan. it hasn't actually been my specialty this game, but it's going to be any no, second. No, no, I, I believe in you. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. You are believed in. Yay. Oh. Uh, 27 to hit. That's quite a hit. Eight. Seven damage. But don't you fuck people up worse? Yes. Yeah. Um, plus another six. Second attack. Um, is 17 to hit. That hits. And then six damage, but I feel like my eagles should also get a turn. Mm. <laughs> I'll just cut two eagles. I there's have two the, of them. There's the unencumbered <laughs> eagle. Yeah, so I have two friends. Um, and they're going to take attacks, so it's plus five to hit. And their speed is them. so high that they it's easily 80. fly in yeah. through the window yeah. and soar in at her. Um, well, it's, um, they're not going to hit because they got an 11. Miss. Yeah. How big are the eagles? Giant. Giant. Large, I think. Larger, believe. larger. And this room is pretty big. Yeah, they're big. Oh, yeah. The room, the room is quite big. Okay. 30 f has a 30 foot radius from the center. The eagle that missed, where is that eagle now? Morgane? Probably You're right. controlling your eagles. Did like that thing where they go down? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then like, like the airplane, do. like they yeah. just pull up? Yeah. Okay, they, so it's. I've spent a lot of time with it. I have no idea what I'm doing. Do they have fly? <laughs> Do they have fly-by attack? Yeah, exactly. Hmm. So they, they, yeah, they, they kind of do like they a fly strike by. and then they're out, yeah. probably. Um, but, but you have it was two. The talent there's talent attack. Talent attack. There's two right? eagles. Yeah. It's a talent show. There's, yeah. there's two. <laughs> there's, there's two eagles, though, right? Yes. Do you do you roll for both? I kind of rolled for them as a group. Oh, okay, that's right. Let's try to be expedient. They're Bobby. eagles. Yes. You're prone. Yes. You want to grab an eagle? <sighs> I'm gonna <laughs> drop down and get my eagle on, but um, so the, the eagle is up. Pretty high. Like, if I, when I stand up, I'm not be able to grab the eagle. Yeah, do it. I mean, if you want to grab an eagle, this you want to time. fly, <laughs> I'm here for you. How dexterous are your eagles? Thoroughly. If Thoroughly. I were to throw them a weapon, <laughs> would they be able to, like you said, hit the swoopy motion and attack with that weapon? This is one of the most metal things I've ever heard. <laughs> well, Careless Whispers playing. Yeah, so. exactly. We could, we could give it a shot. I mean, they have talents. Okay, talents. Um, okay, so... I uh, mean, they could also carry something heavy and drop it on top of her. Ooh, I like that. Oh, like a dive bomb type mm -hmm. thing. Can they drop him on them? <gasps> <laughs> okay, sorry. So I'm prone, I'm still at the feet. She's been stabbed in the neck. She's been hit oh, with the, geez, the chain lightning. Man, it's been raw. She's not looking at me. She's so distracted. She was looking at me. It's okay. canon. Dope. <laughs> <laughs> yes, literally. It's been established. So at this point, um, I am going to sweep the leg. Um, and I will use my shovel. 
to do so. <laughs> the worst part of this is not rolling low, it's everyone giving that sound. It's <laughs> yeah. pain. So. Do you want to attack recklessly and make that with advantage? Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Okay, that's a thing. Yeah! Oh! <laughs> so what I'm seeing... When I, say, when I say sweep the legs to the shovel, obviously a sharp object. So she's turned because she's looking at him, meaning that I'm looking at, an, at ankles yeah. from the side. So I'm going to pull a hostel and try to slash those Achilles. It, it matches yeah. with the Greco-Roman theme. I mean. Exactly. That's, it's all mythology. I've been, I'm a big mythology guy right now. <laughs> so if she was dipped in the River Styx, those are so weak. And I <laughs> 20 of them. Was I rolling a D6 for those? For those? Yeah, but you roll it twice because of the 20, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> you crit. Duh! Six plus the rage, I feel, in my body. So that's nine. Two plus the rage, that's five. That's 14 on the Achilles. <laughs> Iker spurts out of her ankles. The f and so much pours out that you can't tell where the rug that she was on ends and her black dress begins and she just quietly <gasps> fades away. I did not expect that. <laughs> <clears throat> I mean, you no harm. I'm just the juicer. <laughs> I look over at him, I say, yeah, you are. <laughs> I say, uh, I, I look back to him, uh, and I say, I, I, I flick the edge of the jar. Tink, tink, tink. I say, what is this? What does it do? It does blood transfusions. Yes, yes, have the purple juice. Oh, that. You, Faster. You, okay. Uh, so, as far as we can tell, you somehow ingested some cosmic energy. We have been theorizing for some kind time in the Simic Combine, as we discuss with our friends from the Is It, that there might be other worlds, whole other universes. Get out of town. And that there is a black Not true. space in between, we call it the distant realm. And hmm. we think whatever was inside you came from there. And when people drink it, they get strange psychic properties. Or they go totally mad and turn into worms. You never know it. Uh, I say, doctor, do you know how this craft is piloted? by the crew up above. They will be here very soon, I'm sure, and all the crawl warriors to kill you very quickly. I will lock the door if you do not kill me and you leave peacefully out the window that you broke. Real quick, you're a doctor, right? Yes. Omen, I didn't want to say anything because we were in a fight, but your eyes are all fucked up. What do you yeah. mean? <laughs> What do you so mean? Weird. So I, they're weird. all they, fucked up. They're all fucked I up. I don't think so. No, they are. They're all fucked yeah. up. You, 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 they can't are fine. See, you can't see your own eyes, so yeah. we got you. Well, some people can't. Some people can't. I mean, they're metal. They're can you metal. fix his eyes? Yeah. Oh, also, can you, can you fix the stone? <laughs> yes. Yeah, he's still, he's still stuck. Dude. Oh, you'll, you'll need someone with magic for that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you can. I have... <laughs> I have animate object. <laughs> Dude, you have to do it. So, he stays stone, but he can move around. You he, have to still be do it. Stone. This is the best. Turn him into thing. His AC would be very high. <laughs> Turn him into thing. <laughs> I don't know what else to cast, honestly. That's all I've got handy. Now. Now, 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 let me, let me, t let me test something real, real quick. Now, 
I, okay, they are coming. Uh, lock the doors. He says to the other elves who have pressed themselves up against the door. No, 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 real quick, because it is so fascinating, so fascinating. Thank you for pointing out the eyes. <laughs> he slips on a ring. He taps it. It glimmers with a bluish light for a moment. You hear in your head, is this thing on? I say, yes. I say, I am being communed with by a creature of incredible power. <laughs> oh, it's as I thought. You have telepathic powers now. Is this ring similar to the ring that the lady had that we met last game? That Solstia the Vampire wore? Yep. Ooh, that is a good question. That's why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> she did indeed. On one of her fingers, the left pinky had an identical ring. Mm -hmm. So if she's got telepathic powers, and you now have telepathic powers... Yeah. Cool, man. There's some opportunities there. I say, well, uh, doctor, it has been uh, an absolute pleasure. Um, oh, the pleasure was all mine. And he comes up and gives no, you another No, 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 we're good with that. Nope. <laughs> we did that already, and I only did that because I was weak and couldn't stand. So <clears throat> there's precisely zero affection. But I, I do appreciate um, your whole deal. Now, uh, I say, he needs to be animated right away. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you better hurry. Yeah, I don't know any other quick way to get you out of here. And so I'm going to go ahead and cast Animate Object on him. Uh, and he is technically right now, in his petrified form, a non-magical object. Right? <laughs> so he comes to life. <laughs> I'm just thinking Frosty the Snowman just put a hat yeah, on yeah, him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I just touch you on the nose. <laughs> With one of your wands. Yeah. Just sparkles come out. Uh, oh my goodness, look at your magic. Yeah, I don't fuck around. Uh, <laughs> it says as a bonus action, I can mentally command the creature I've made. <laughs> but I'm just going to like mentally in just be like, this is temporary. Uh, it's the best I can do for now. <coughs> uh, I, can I, I, I yeah. move? Yeah, I, I mean, you're stone. You are now his animated object. <laughs> <laughs> we're uh, getting passed around. We're going to get out of here, buddy. Yeah. It's been a theme. Uh, I, I, say, I say, doctor, there must be some kind of a, a buoy or a escape raft vessel on this, a craft of this size, of course. On the upper levels. <laughs> Maybe, maybe out that way. He points at the iris. I, okay. Uh, mm. While they're working that out, I go to like, uh, like whatever stash she has for all of her goodies, and I, I just yeah, like just ransack. No, 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 like I kick mean, like, the top off the box. Yeah, yeah, with your fucking so, stone leg. Does your spell give him awareness? You said I had awareness before. Objects only of yourself. Come to life. I'm talking about around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, each target animates and becomes a creature under your control. A creature. Until the spell ends, or uh, until it's reduced to zero hit points. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but is there a way for me to like let him? Like, if I don't want to control him, like, can I, can I give him... You have to use one of your wishes to set me free. <laughs> <laughs> you can give him general commands. Yes, I would like to give you general control over your own body. If I need something, like a can opened, I may call you, but... <laughs> or not, no, or like if there's a spider. <laughs> there's a spider. <laughs> Just putting holes in the wall. To <laughs> but in general, I'm, I'm letting you handle things. All right. Okay. Uh, can I see? Because of his magic, yes. Okay, then yeah, and I. Ooh. 
<laughs> yes, can, can he talk? Because he has, he can move. No. Animated, the spell doesn't give him no, the no, ability no. to speak. Like, 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 like. <laughs> <laughs> and then I do. I walk over like I, the chest or whatever she has all of her swag in. I do. I I, I like. <laughs> you try to do the print. And then I the just line? like punch the top off the box. <laughs> is like there is all of your stuff inside. And I like really awkwardly half put on my armor as like <laughs> this talking is happening. It looks like bad like stop motion animation. Yeah. <laughs> it's very fast and then very fast. I like that you didn't take the mankini off first. Oh no. <laughs> I don't think it comes oh. off now. You part can't. Oh yeah, you now. can't take it off. Sorry, yeah. sorry. It's part, it's a tar- part, part of, of him. Yeah. Um, I'm going to use my water skin to get some of that purple drink. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm taking that back to my boy and we're going to do some things. Crossfade. Um, <laughs> also, too, uh, I get lots of that. I, w- I really did want to try it. Yeah. yeah there, I want to too. there is banging on okay. the metal I'm door. I'm going to take one of the eagles. I'm going to go outside and I'm going to look for a lifeboat. Yeah. Oh, on the outside. Yeah, try, to on get the it outside. try to get it and bring it down. We're going to do, I'm going to, we I have got, to I got two eagles if someone wants to jump on. <clears throat> exactly. So one team has, <laughs> oh, also, you weigh a lot more now, I think, because you uh-huh. Morgane, as you fly out looking yeah. for lifeboats, you see you are only a couple hundred feet above the Worm Sea now, Ugh. but you see something else. Above, descending extremely rapidly, is a flight of Pegasi. And it's, you it's Pegasuses. Yeah. And Pegasus is its name. I just don't want you to look silly. <laughs> In the Forgotten Realm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Pegasisi. Pegasisi. <laughs> Pegapodia. <laughs> and you can see riding on the front one is Idu, your Loxodon friend. Oh, thank God. Nice. Cavalry. This, this is what we need. And they come swooping down. We came as fast as we could. Sweet. <laughs> no, here. I, I'm, I'm like, all right, everybody, up, one floor up, start moving, start moving toward that window. I meet before we leave, I grab the doctor and I take his ring. No. Mine. You, no. You want your life for the ring. Let's go. Come up off it. <laughs> Thank you. Mine now. <laughs> and I tap my head. Yeah. And I'm talking to him. Hey. Yeah. We're cool now. What's up? <clears throat> Right. I mean, I mean, everybody. Everybody has to go. Everybody has to start moving and, up. And as you say this, you see this f- flight of Pegasi, even Pegasuses, <laughs> come into view by the broken window, oh, and perfect. you now all see Edu there. Come on, my friends, before they send out flying crawl. Last, Last question. Bad. I say, yeah. yeah, yuck. Before we leave, do we want to destroy? This the the vat that's holding all the purple stuff, so they can't use it for anything. Oh, no, no. oh please, no! This is my precious juice. No, no, I'll <laughs> I'll handle it. Everybody up to the window, to the wow. So uh, <laughs> get, there, get on the Pegasus, get on the Pegasus, and um and get out. I'm gonna clean this situation up here, and I'll be there in a second. I get the fuck out of here. I, 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 I look at you, and I can't. I'm like, mm-hmm. Yeah, this but, is better. But you can tell. From my eyes, that I'm telling you, if you drink your own juice, you'll never walk away from that experience. Yeah. <laughs> you'll know. No, you're changed. You're changed. And I, I go like this. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, we can hear what he's saying, can't we? Because we have telepathy. You and might you, be able you, to. We might yeah. be able to. Yeah, we can. Uh, I, I don't really know the range of my powers. Gotcha. You know? We're figuring it out. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah, I will... Uh, you know what? I'm going to VR it. I will jump directly onto a Pegasus without considering the consequences. <laughs> oh. 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 Poor guy. I'll also do a flip while I'm at it. <laughs> you don't even, you forget, right? Yeah. I mean, it's been three minutes. <laughs> <laughs> because you added the flip, <laughs> I need you to make a dexterity acrobatics check with disadvantage. Thank you. <laughs> And what is his dexterity, Jim? Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> it's okay, I will spend my, d- my advantage to cancel that out at this point. Oh, your, your inspiration? 12. Okay, it's 12, so I will lose my... 
that bonus. Life. But I still get. Uh, <clears throat> You're mostly rock now. Oh. Hey! That's a 23. But what a rock. The way you land on this Pegasus, if you weren't a statue, you would have just broken your own back. <laughs> <laughs> but the elf who is riding the Pegasus grabs oh, hold of you. I, uh, there's, there's already a rider. Yes, <laughs> it's a rescue you would have team. Smashed it. That I didn't. That I, I honest you everyone, I didn't know. You I thought it was look. just a bunch of Pegasus. <laughs> Pegapodia. And, uh... Whoa there. I have you. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I pat him on the shoulder. And the, the elf jump, helps... Jump. <laughs> yeah, right. The Break elf his collarbone. Hel helps position you so you don't slide off into the sea of worms. Omen. As you look down, person in the crowd... <laughs> You are now role-playing one of the few people looking from the windows up above <laughs> in this airship. So good. And you see down below that there are millions of humanoid-sized worms, but there is moving among them a worm that is at least 10 times larger than any purple worm anyone on any D&D world has seen before. And it crests up in the worm sea, almost like an island was lifting up out of the water for a moment and going back down. That's how big the worm is. <laughs> we, we call that one... <laughs> worm, worm. They love worms, they do. You know, I was going to make a very funny Dune joke, and you just <laughs> lost that privilege. <laughs> Let's go make a Beetlejuice joke, though. Ooh. Yeah. That's true. That's true. Nobody? Nobody seen Beetlejuice? Though? Omen. I'm with you. Yes. Thank you. What do you do as the doors break open, and four of those insect, insectile creatures come rushing in, each of them holding a glimmering green spear. Ugh. Green spear! <laughs> I appreciate it. No, I like it. A couple it. of you tried. I, I feel it. Um, so there, there is a, a path from here up. Yes. Right? And I can take it. And I should. Yeah, as I'm climbing out the window, I look back and I go, do you want me to destroy the airship? <laughs> um, I say... Would you? Yeah. Thank you, Jim. Absolutely. All right. Uh, I'm going uh, to rush my way up this. Uh, I assume it's like a, a stair that goes up. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to rush my way up that. I had a real plan, but I don't want to lose my character. So uh, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to head out to that, that window and try to catch the last uh, Pegasus out of here. All right. All four of them level their spears at you and fire gouts of green flame. What? Green flame! Oh, wow. I rolled a one, a two, a three, and an eight. <laughs> All right. It's not, you know, it's not going to work. They set the balcony okay, so behind it, you on dude, fire. So is, is, is Dr. Crumb a crisp? No. They ran right past Okay, him. okay. Green fail. <laughs> yeah. Green fail. So I'm up. Like, I am up. You I'm are watching up, that. Okay, that's And great. there is a Pegasus waiting for you. Yeah, I'm on it. Let's get out of here! Deal. Listen. I haven't jumped out yet. That window where we broke through was very close to the guy playing the music. I assume he's still playing Carol's. Omen was the last one out. So okay, never mind. Yeah. We'll leave him. The Bring some music with us. But. No, no, no. So, oh, oh, okay. It's like I'll pause briefly in the window, like the wind like rushing in. I'll hear the last few sort of saxophone strains, and then I'm out. <laughs> you, as you wonder about that musician, there is a shattering of glass behind you, and the musician comes bursting out on his circular keyboard, which has thrusters <laughs> underneath. <laughs> he does gigs. Yes. He does gigs. I, I use my telepathy to talk to him and say, come with me if you want to live. <laughs> and you hear his voice, I ain't dying for no gig. <laughs> 
and his his keyboard array comes slowly <laughs> levitating up if, after you. If you do not bring him back, there will be hell to pay. <laughs> You soar up into the sky, and Edu says, I'm sorry it took a while. I had to send in a call to home, and I was afraid they might not help me, being an outcast. But when they heard it was you all, the ones who saved Elm, Celestia was quick to come to help you. It was good. He got juiced. He looks much better, yeah, right? What do you, what do you think? <laughs> I'm told the eyes are new. I didn't know this was your color. Oh yeah, this is, this is how we look. Yeah, this is a normal color for us. I'm not sure I'll ever get used to it. Well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what happened to my high five friend? Oh, he can still high five, but be careful. <laughs> not, a, not while we're flying. <laughs> All right, and as oh. Jim, you ponder whether you destroy the ship, you look down and right underneath the balloon level, at least 10 circular openings suddenly iris-like open up and streams of those insect guys start launching out and dragonfly-like wings there. pop out oh. off their backs. Oh. Yeah, that's yuck and they start soaring up at you. Oh God, we gotta get out of here. And Edu, he kicks the Pegasus, and the, peg the Pegasus starts flapping faster. We're faster than them. As long as we don't pause. <laughs> <laughs> well, <clears throat> so as I was leaping out, I, I would like to have tossed a little stone back down into that main chamber, um, which is going to quickly start multiplying, and I cast Galder's Tower. What I, the fuck is that? I create a, I create a two-story wooden tower. <laughs> what? He got shot at, it's like Fortnite? <laughs> With a bedroom, it's got a kitchen. So it's, well, so it's fully appointed? Fully yeah. appointed. It just begins building itself inside of their airship. So, I yeah. built a hotel inside there. Yeah. <laughs> so there is a, there is sort of a cracking noise, and you see the bottom of the airship start to stretch, and then there is a, <laughs> and something inside lights up, and there is a, as the entire upper level of the airship goes up in green flame. Green flame! All the humanity! <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's... Too soon. That is yeah, yeah. Too, soon. too soon. He's been waiting. He's been waiting for the... Well played. And as soon as this happens, those flying crawl warriors immediately change course to head down toward the wreckage which is now soaring directly onto the back of the worm. Ugh. We got to go. So that's handled. So we're, yeah. we're, we're going to go home now. This is no yeah. <laughs> the, the pegasi, they go higher and higher until you are finally out of the dark, moist reaches of Deadbridge Chasm. Jim, the Omniglass, still in your possession, and they take you up high over the beautiful spires of Ravnica, a beauty you had almost forgotten about, yeah. down beneath its streets, and you are taken to the street level of the tower where the secret workshop is. Edu hugs several of the elves. Thank you for helping my friends. Yeah, I, I, I'd salute them. Like, like wordlessly, but, you know, martial individuals have a specific physical language. They, the elves all salute you in unison, and the leader, she says, you are always welcome beneath the great tree. Assuming, and she now looks at Edu, Elm makes it back from this place in one piece? Yeah, we need to make sure that happens. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Very well then. The world soul be with you. And they remount and soar away. Inside, you follow the secret way in. Your room is still splattered with blood, Omen. Yeah, well, I know that, and I'm okay with it. And you take the elevator up, and you find yourself back in the familiar metal and blinking corridors of Vi's workshop. Marvelous. I, I, I finally exhale. <laughs> you also all notice, now that you are finally pausing, that all of Jim's veins are visible and black. What did I do? I didn't do anything this time. I was super good. Hey, how do oh, you, the how mold. Do you feel? How are you guys feeling? Oh, the mold. Yeah. I inhaled some mold. Yeah. <laughs> is, uh, is Elm in this room? So you are in the corridor. To your left is the entryway to the cosmic device. Down further is Vi's sitting room. And Vi comes walking toward you. Oh, my friends. Mm -hmm. Uh, hello. Hello, Vi. I've, I've missed you so. Oh, I missed you. I filled the cooler with cheese. <gasps> oh. My girl, I leave immediately. <laughs> it's like there's the whole meeting and it's just like you're gone. Cheese. You're trying to get the cheese. I need the cheese. Now, my goodness. What happened to my brunch, buddy? And... Vi comes up and she strokes your stone hand. Was it the Golgari swan? Yeah. Yeah, you know what you know. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I didn't want. He, can, he cannot stay away. I know some people who know some magic, but I unfortunately don't might know it myself. He, Omen, you have some kind of cleric in magic, don't you? Uh, I do, but I, I mostly use it to murder people. <laughs> well, maybe, maybe pray to your God or yourself or wherever it is you'll get your powers and maybe a greater restoration. Yeah, exactly. Help That's your friend. Speaking of restorations... <coughs> <laughs> Spores are coming out of the I got a vein. <laughs> Good a vein situation. Good yeah. gracious. You're all back and nearly dead. <laughs> Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Honey, you always look the best. Oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah. Do you have like some Claritin or something? <laughs> <laughs> so what, what, what exactly happened to you, Jim? I, I breathed in some mold. Apparently it was, it was black mold. <laughs> Whereabouts was it? Uh, the mold was in, <laughs> it was in a cave. Cave mold. Oh. Cave mold, classic cave mold. Spro Sprocket told me about it when he came back. He feels so bad he's hiding in his room. He told me about the, well, we won't talk about it. The cave. Yeah, it's a, it was a cave. Well, it did, was fine. Did he tell you about the worm that was just like two heads? That, that's what we'll always say, my dear. Mm -hmm. That is what we will always say. Perfect. Uh, yeah, so we're looking, for, we're looking for the greater restoration fifth level spell. All right. Uh, I don't know anything about levels, except this building has a lot of them. Yeah. <laughs> but, but does one of you have what you went looking for? Oh, yeah. I, oh. Have, the, I have the Omniglass. I yeah, pulled out. See, we have got a lot of crazy stuff, actually. Oh, got, oh, my goodness. I was afraid for a moment that you went on some crazy adventure and forgot what the hell it was you were looking for. It's happened. Oh no, this is this has actually literally happened. Um, <clears throat> I say no. We have Omni Glass and like plenty of it. That that part was actually very straightforward. Uh, we also have some juice. Uh, I don't know if you have a, a machine. You're not purple anymore. Yes, uh, I, I guess it was a cosmic juice. That seems to be the the official term for it. Did it come? Did the, the, it's what? Ha, did that happen to you with the with the, yeah, with the Cosmo that, Hopper? Exactly, exactly. That's what it seems like. It was concentrated in me, and apparently it's delicious, um, and it can confer uh, psychic effects, or it can also transform you into a massive worm. 
Um, you're really rolling the dice with this one. Oh, I, I wouldn't drink that. Yeah. If you'd like, if you'd like to leave it with me, I can study it. I might be able to turn it into oh, something it, less dangerous. Well, if we're trying to get somewhere, some kind of a, a cosmic medium uh, seems like it might help you in your oh, process. Oh, honey, we have everything you need. Oh. You, you have succeeded. Oh, well, that's with this, great. With this omni glass. Perfect. And while you were away, Elm was using his wonderful world soul magic. He has powered up the Cosmo Hopper. All we need is for him to channel some of that delicious magic into the key you have, Jim. I will just do some quick lickety split, little artifice of magic I have, and we will get that orb fixed and send you on your way. In fact, I think we should do so right quick. I am afraid, given the number of people who have been on our roof and on the streets, that this lab is not much of a secret anymore. <laughs> and the sooner we fix the machine, and do you leave, and I leave, you're safe, I get paid, we're all happy. <laughs> Have you seen this effect before in other people? <laughs> oh no, I, I, I don't know much about, about that kind of thing. Uh, but you probably have some sort of disease, my friend. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> I wish I could help. If you were a machine, I could tune you right up. Yeah. Would you like me to replace your lungs for you? <laughs> Not right now. <laughs> but I've thank been, you. I have been experimenting. I have a new method. I, I assume that Elm is with me, eating cheese. You haven't seen Elm. I need to find Elm immediately. Make sure he's okay. Yeah, that's job one. Yeah. Especially because I'm going to soak some of his magic leaves and some of this purple juice. Yeah, it's going to be something else. We're going to see what happens. Yeah. <laughs> You're going to see some shit. <laughs> Only good things can possibly happen. <laughs> so can you heal Viari? I mean, is that... Because I, I have to admit that my animate object spell would no longer be functioning. It's, it doesn't last Oh, is it that. 10 minutes? Power it's down. It's a couple minutes in, con in con constant concentration. Oh, Okay. You've powered down. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. I, I pretty much had started to be like. Yeah, <clears throat> I, I can. It's gonna. I need to. I need to take a. Uh, yes. That's, <laughs> I'm just gonna hang my hat on his finger. Yeah. yeah if if you could, thank yeah. you so much. Just tabard. Mm -hmm. Just hang it, and it looks good. <laughs> it looks good. Let's, uh, take some glamour shots. <laughs> um, no, no, uh, I'm going to put together some uh, greater restoration through spells and prayers <laughs> and say it's just going to take a little while. And I'm, whew, I am bushed actually. So I got to, <laughs> I'm going to get eight and then like long rest and then I'm going to come back and you know how it is. That's true. <laughs> I am down like six hit points. We should, probably should take a long rest. Long rest. Yeah. Long rest. I mean, I'm exhausted. All right. You all get some sleep in your room. I, I had the crew. Change your sheets and everything. Nice new pillows. I'm going to work on the Omni Glass by the morning. I don't need much sleep. I bet you'll be ready to send you home. Right. Perfect. So yeah, I'm going I'm to basically spend this time preparing it. I mean, I only have one uh, spell at this level, so it's going to require a pretty involved process each time. So uh, I'll definitely do gym first. <laughs> Just get it out of the way. I mean, that seems like the easy one. Yeah, what so, can you do for me? Uh, greater restoration should clear you right up. Does it? As, as one of the crew members oh, said walking yeah. by, yeah. Less, lesser restoration handles disease. Oh, yeah, there we go. I say, I, say, I, I give him a high five, or if he doesn't want to, that's fine. That's all right, you all rest, and you go to sleep hearing some kind of bzzz, coming from the room where the Cosmo Hopper is. The arc welder type thing. Finally, as you're drifting off to sleep, Elm comes in and he just sits down uh, on the ground, Bobby, and just sort of like leans his head against you and just zonks out. Nice. Aww. I'm so glad you're okay, buddy. Me too, man. Aww. Let's go to sleep. <laughs> Bunny. And he, he, just, he just goes right to sleep and he looks fine. Okay, good. He's all checked out. All, everything's grown back. Not yet. <laughs> yeah. It takes, <laughs> you know from past experience, it takes a while, but remember you do have one of his leaves. You took it last session. Oh, I do. That's true. Oh. 
You're still holding. I'm actually so I'm so I'm soaking that leaf. You've been holding this whole time. Well, only when we need it. I've been soaking that one leaf in the purple juice. <laughs> All right. Oh God. Jeez. If we have to fight a giant worm, <coughs> that's no, gonna no. be amazing. Definitely do it. Dude, dude, dude I just I want to I just I want to caution you just very quickly. You're gonna get to a point where you need two leaves soaked in purple juice <laughs> just to get the same height, and it's like. Do you want to go down that path? It's like, well, if it's only once a game, we yeah, should be fine, that's, that's right? true. That's true. Uh, yeah, so uh, it's a second level and a fifth level. I mean, I, I I can do them both in one rest. So, do them. Okay. You do them before you rest or after? No, no, it's 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 a whole thing. It's a whole process. You got to get in the right headspace. <laughs> I'm just gonna do this at you. I have a regimen. No, actually, I wouldn't be in the same room. Yeah. That's not fair. No, no, I haven't brought him to my room. <laughs> <laughs> I picked him up and carried him. <laughs> yeah, yeah, just for safety's sake. The next day dawns. What do you do? I, I wake up, uh, get a shower. <laughs> in, the well, night, in the night, the statue is tipped over. Yeah. <laughs> Full breakfast, I step over him. Um, uh, and then I, I, I'm going to get down low uh, and just look at his face against the side of it and I'll kind of lean him up so that he can see my face. <laughs> and I'm gonna say, you know what? I'm making a choice right now. <laughs> Do you understand that? <laughs> <laughs> the next time you arrive at a junction of choice and I will be served at one of these junctions, and our enemies will be served at the other of the junctions. I trust you will choose the former. And I bring him back. Yes. A tingle covers your entire body and you are restored. Hmm. But, but like in the mankini. Yes. And all the armor isn't quite on right. Oh, no, it's all messed up. Because I did it up. real fast. And I, I did, my body wasn't the same way. Yeah. <sighs> no. I don't want this. And I point toward the door. Hey, buddy. Elm is already up. <laughs> What's up? I think the machine is ready. <gasps> hey, round everybody up and let's go tell them. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Elm goes to each of you to tell you, the machine, it's ready. So he's gonna knock on the door? Did you, want, did you want to talk to Omen? You should. Actually, I was just gonna, like, when you're like, and out, I'm like, thanks, boss. <laughs> and I go. I remove one check mark from a document that I keep. <laughs> <laughs> Jim is coughing. Still? What? Did you cast your oh, spell? Oh, yeah, absolutely. So after I deal with this, then yeah, I'll, I'll make my way over to Jim's uh, spot before we, before we gather at the uh, Cosmo Hopper. Has it uh, gotten worse in the night? Yeah. He was coughing on and off. Oh, God. I, I take a look at the pillow. Mm. It's black. Uh, okay. Mm. Right, I, I come in, I just turn the pillow. I said, just turn that over. <laughs> just, who has the fresh side? Cool is the other side of the pillow. Yeah. Um, and then I say, just close your eyes. It's weird if we do it this way. Just, okay. just close them. And then I just I reach my hand out, like, and not like look, but I reach out and I just like, touch the side of his cheek and cast a spell. And then I retract my hand as though from a trap. <laughs> as you cast your spell, as you move your hand, you actually see this spectral mist-like thing come out of his nostril and Ugh. mouth and dissipate. And Ugh. you feel better. Wow, thank you. Yeah. I, that. I, I don't think that was mold. No. I, I, think that, I think that you, like, breathed in a ghost or something. It's fine. Let's go, <laughs> let's go take a look at this machine. In the chamber of the Cosmo Hopper, you see all of the orbs are now hovering up in the air, including the one that you came through. Elm is there, glimmering 
with a greenish light standing on a platform over to the side, away from the silver circle that you landed in when you first came to Ravnica. And Vi says to all of you, Oh, my friends, what an adventure it's been to get to see all you. Oh, and look, you're not sick anymore and you're not a statue. That's good, because I was hoping we'd have brunch again one day. <laughs> and Bobby, I can fill as many coolers as you want with cheese. <laughs> my girl. <laughs> Now I'm going to miss you all. You have been a hoot and a holler. So look me up sometime. You'll be going back to Toro. Remember, I have an apartment there in Waterdeep. I say, whereabouts? Just ask around for Vi. My apartment, it moves a little bit. A little, little magic I have. <clears throat> Here, so uh, so for, uh, I want to take a moment to look up at the, uh, the apparatus with Vi. And I say, you have an absolute mastery over this, and yet there still seems to be a lot of people who are confused about whether or not other worlds actually exist. People who should know better. Weird, wrinkled scientist people. The sort of people you'd think would be way into this kind of stuff. It's harder than you think for people to hop from one world to another. Some of us have that gift. I can tell you I've been to hundreds of worlds and many other planes. I could tell you stories till I drop dead about everything I've seen. I think, I'd like that, not the death. <laughs> but <laughs> oh, I would I just, definitely like the story. I would just start replacing organs so I could keep going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's cool. Uh, I'll, I'll think of you when I see an organ. I ask, because uh, she said that she might be able to figure out what the purple juice can do. Was she able to check that out in the night as well? Oh, I was busy getting the Cosmo Hopper up and running. But look me up. If you, are, if, you go with, if you go with them on their adventures, you'll probably meet me again sometime. Well, you know. And I love solving strange puzzles. And I love strong women. <laughs> <laughs> and cheese. Yes. <laughs> what a mix. I, oh, <laughs> yeah, the and best. Cheese. Oh, speaking of strong women. She pulls out that little glimmering b blue oh, ball. The... And inside, you see Sostia, the vampire, who inside, you can see her going. <laughs> <laughs> I really love keeping this wine. <laughs> I've been learning all sorts of things about Ojov taxes. We might be able to get into some interesting business opportunities, you and I. I like, I like all of this. Do we have sure to go now? I mean, I... So I am worried because of the number of times people have been sniffing around here and I kind of need to be paid and to truth be told, I've got another gig. They need me in one of those other worlds. I'm actually, are you going to be able to shut this down or move it? Because if you just leave it here. Oh, no, no, no. There's a protocol. The crew who called me in, they'll inform the mysterious employer that all is well. All I care about is I get paid, I go home, on to the next job. That's uh, how I work. Question for you. How do you feel about telepathy? Oh, I only like it if I give consent. <laughs> okay, right here. I'll, I'll draw up a contract. <laughs> uh, I would like to leave you something to, to remember me by. This ring, apparently, gives you telepathic powers. Oh, my God. Guys, if you don't mind, I'd like to put this on your finger. <laughs> Oh, you are, you are too sweet, honey. I try. How can I say no? Thank are you, you sure this isn't cursed? No, not at all. <laughs> <laughs> I have no not idea. Not even a little bit. Not I sure at all. I stole it from a doctor, so it should be good. <laughs> an evil doctor. Last, la last an test evil I, doctor. Yeah. But last test I took was clean, so. Well, <laughs> if, if I lose this finger next time you see me, it'll just be an interesting mechanical one. <laughs> all right, my friends. Let's get this show on the road. That's right. So I'm going I'm to move out. I'm like, so do I stand here or like, where do I? Oh, no, no, no. There in the circle. Right here. Okay. Elm, Elm will fire it up with his lovely magic. I will turn these doodads. Woo doodads. <laughs> and she goes over and starts turning big, these big knobs that start causing the golden lightning to start arcing through the orbs. Now, now, my friends, get out there. Get out there on that, on that platform. Uh, <clears throat> while I'm walking out to the, uh, the dais, I'm going to look over at Elm. I just give him a nod and say, nice work, kid. But the eyes are jet black. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a couple blinks, and it, 
it doesn't convey what I intended. <laughs> he looks a little scared. <laughs> <laughs> nice work. <Yeah. laughs> no, no, I'll, I'll stand. I, I, basically, I want to I get everybody together like there's going to be a photograph taken. I'm like, are you here? And then also you, right, right here, Viari. And then obviously, Morgane, you wherever you want. My and then up here. I'm, I'm with Elm. <laughs> Oh, that's. <gasps> are you not go, are you not gonna go with go with your friends on some some crazy adventure? Elm is my my guy. I gotta protect him at all times. Elm, can can Elm come with us? Oh, buddy, I oh. I'm gonna return to the tree. I learned my lesson, and I'll be safe there. And you'll come home, won't you? I just. Yeah, God, that shit's real. I, I, I just never thought we'd be apart. <sighs> Elm, I'm gonna go on so many adventures, and I'm gonna bring you back so many stories, and most importantly, buddy, I'm gonna bring us back so much cheese. <laughs> <laughs> I love tearing people up and seeing the blood spray, so I'm going with you guys. <laughs> I, love it. I love it. So you're loving it. We're we have a type of cheese that is like a different color. It's nuts. Oh, it's crazy. You'll see it. Great. When you get perfect. there. Come in. And so you all stand in the circle, and Vi fiddles with some knobs, and then she walks over to there. There's this giant red lever, and she's walking toward it, and reaches up for it. I'm gonna back up. And I'm going to look straight in your eye. And I'm going to say, by the name of House Demir, you are not going anywhere. And then I am casting a giant constrictor, and I'm sending it straight for you. And that is where we will end. Oh! oh! What? Oh! Thank you, everyone, for joining us.